For a streamlined flow of a non-viscous incompressible fluid, the pressure P, this is the pressure we're talking about, P, at any point is related to the height H and the velocity V by this equation. So we are having the height H and the velocity V and that is the pressure. So we have pressure right there. We have height, we have V, which so happens to be the velocity. Now we are A, B and D. A, B and D are constants. This sign rho is the density of the fluid. This right here is the density of the fluid and G is the acceleration due to gravity. Given that the equation is dimensionally consistent, find the dimensions of the constants A, B, and D. So in this question, we are required to find the dimensions of the constants A, B, and D in this equation. So now to begin with, first of all, there is a very big, there is something major we need to take note of. And this is that if two or more quantities are added or subtracted, they must have the same dimensions. So if I may interpret this statement to apply it to our question here, if you look at this here, we are having P minus A. A is a constant. Now, the mere fact that these two are subtracted together, it means that the dimensions of P, which is pressure, are the same as the dimensions of this constant that we do not know. Here we are having H minus B in brackets. B is a constant. H, according to our question, is representing height. So it means the dimensions of height are the same as the dimensions of this constant b. Likewise, v squared minus d, these are being subtracted. We know that v is velocity, so the dimensions of v are the same dimensions of d. This is how, this is what is consistent with this. In dimensions, so when we are doing dimensional analysis, we should know that when two or more quantities are added or subtracted, then they must have the same dimensions. And since these ones are being subtracted in brackets, it means that the dimensions of pressure is the same as the dimensions of this. So to go ahead and find the dimensions of A, B, and D, like our question is requesting us to do, we will start analyzing bit by bit. So right here we have P minus A. The dimensions of P minus A. So, so since we know that the dimensions of pressure are supposed to be the dimensions of A, so let's go ahead and first find the dimensions of P, which is pressure. We know that the dimensions of pressure, pressure is going to be equal to force over area. And we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration, divide that by area, which is that. And then we go ahead and find, we know that mass, so the dimensions of mass So the dimensions of mass is capital M Multiply that by the dimensions of acceleration Now we know that acceleration The dimensions of acceleration are L to the power negative 2 Divide that by the dimensions of area Area is length times width and we know that length times width, length is a, a length times width, width is also a length, so this is L squared. So you will find that this decomposes to M. Of course, this L, this L will cancel with one of those L's and you remain with uh, M and T to the power negative 2, divide that by L. This ends up becoming M, L to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 2. Now since these are the dimensions of pressure, therefore uh, the dimensions of P minus A are going to be the same as M, L negative 1, T negative 2. And since these two are being subtracted, and we know that if two or more quantities are added or, sub added or subtracted, they must have the same dimensions. It means that the dimensions of A are also going to be m l to the power negative one t to the power negative two and that those are the dimensions of a so we'll go ahead and find the dimensions of b now to find the dimensions of b since it is h minus b we know that this h and b these ones have the same dimension since they are being subtracted together now height h is height and we know that height the dimensions of i height are l 
uh, the, it means that the dimensions of h minus b are also going to be l hence the dimensions of b meaning they are is, is that so for b that was it so now let's get the dimensions of d we know that dimensions of d is v squared we have v squared minus d we want the dimensions of that so since the dimensions of v are supposed to be the same as the dimensions of this we know this is v squared right so we first find the dimensions of v squared which is velocity we know that velocity the dimensions of velocity are l t to the power negative one squared so this is going to become l squared t to the power negative two times two is negative two so uh, this only means therefore since these are the dimensions of v squared so it means that the dimensions of d are also going to be the same l squared t to the power negative 2 and that's the answer so that's how we get the dimensions of the constants of a b and d and it is all coming from this very fundamental fact that if two or more quantities are added or subtracted they must have the same dimensions we will do one more worked example that requires us to apply this truth further we're having an equation that in the equation p plus a over v squared close brackets into v minus b is equal to rt this is an equation for a real gas find the dimensions of the constants a and b so we are having constants here constants a and then the constant b find the constants a and b where p is the pressure of the gas this is the pressure of the gas v is the volume of the gas and r is the molar gas constant and t is the temperature since this p and this term these two are being added together it means that the dimensions of p are going to be the same as the dimensions of that whole thing right likewise here the dimensions of v are going to be the same as the dimensions of b so let's begin with this one we know that p according to our question is representing pressure of the gas p so it means for us to get the dimensions of p must be equal to they must be the same as the dimensions of this whole thing of the a over v squared and we are interested in finding the dimensions of a so uh, if we are to make a the subject of the formula it means uh, the dimensions of p this is going to become the dimensions of a over the dimensions of v squared this a when we make a the subject of the formula this is going to become equal to the dimensions of p multiply that by when v squared multiplied on both sides it means it's going to be the dimensions of v squared so for us to get the dimensions of a this is the thing so this is going to become um, the dimensions of p which is pressure we know that pressure is equal to force over area force is going to be mass times acceleration over the area this is going to be equal to ma mass is capital m acceleration is lt to the power negative 2 divide that by area which is l squared and this is going to become m l to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 2 so for this it's going to become m l to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 2 multiply that by v squared now v squared according to our question here this v is standing for volume of the gas so if it is volume we know that volume is given by uh, length times width times height which is going to be volume l that is l times l times height is also a length so this is l cubed so this is volume squared which is l cubed that's the constant for volume squared so this means it's going to become uh, m l to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 2 multiply that by 3 times 2 is 6 l to the power 6 so the dimensions of a in this case are going to become m times uh, we have two l's l times l of course same base we add the powers negative 6 plus that this becomes l to the power 5 then here we have t to the power negative 2 
and these are the dimensions of A. Then we will go ahead and find the dimensions of B. To find the dimensions of B, this is V minus B. So it means that the dimensions of V must be the same as the dimensions of B since they are being subtracted. So it means that the dimensions of V should be the same as the dimensions of B. And according to our questions, we've been told that V stands for volume. You have to be very careful what the letters stand for because sometimes V stands for velocity, but in this case it is volume. So since V is for volume, we know that volume is L cubed. We already discovered here that V is L cubed, so it means that the dimensions for volume is L cubed is going to be B. So therefore the dimensions for B in this case are L cubed. And in so doing we have answered our question. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.